Okay, so here we have a really interesting product, Storytel Reader. It's an ebook reader with a subscription. You need a Storytel subscription to use this e-reader. But with that subscription, you have a lot of books, both audiobooks and ebooks available with this subscription. A lot of books. Not only Swedish books, you have different languages. So I really love that because I need and love to read both English books and Swedish books. So I will do an unboxing of this Storytel e-reader. And after that, I will also do a first start and set up of it. And as you can see here, it's a 6 inch e-ink Carta HD screen with 1024 by 758 resolution, 212 ppi, as you can see there. And it's very light, 200 grams. So I really love that. But uh, one drawback is that you often need to have Wi-Fi connected almost all the time because you need to sync it with your subscription to be able to sync where you are in books and so on with your phone or tablet. So you will need to use Wi-Fi a lot more. And that means that the battery is not as good as on other e-readers. But if you can live without syncing, then you can use without Wi-Fi. You can download, for example, an audiobook to the e-reader or an e-book to the e-reader, so you don't need to have Wi-Fi connection. <clears throat> so, very, very nice packaging, I think. And this version of the Storytel e-reader has Bluetooth also, so you can connect your headphones and listen to audiobooks. As you can see, very nice packaging. Stories for everyone, anytime, anywhere. And here we have a USB-C cable to USB-A, so you can charge it. Nice. And they also provide a charger. That is very good because Apple doesn't do that anymore and not Samsung either. So having a charger in the box, I think that's a huge, huge plus. It's awesome that they have a charger with it. Really nice. And here we have the reader itself. We will check out that later on. I think it's what's in the box because now it says happy reading. So I think that's what's in the box. What did I get more? We have one month free subscription to give away to someone. So I can give that to a friend or family member, for example. That's nice. One month of free Storytel. Nice. And here you can buy different cases soft case and a hard case and here we have a startup guide how to start this e-reader and start reading and go through all the different settings and the subscription and all that nice And here I have a case for it. So 
So I also get a case from Storytel here for the reader itself. As you can see, in white plastic. It's a flip case, as you can see. Feels uh, quite plastic, sadly. I would uh, have wanted more leathery feeling of it. But uh, anyway, we will test that when I have unboxed the reader itself. So let's see how the reader looks and feels in the hand. Like so. As you can see, there's Storytel logo on the back side. Storytel Reader. Very nice logo. Feels great in the hand. As you can see, it fits my hand perfectly fine. I love this. Six inch is quite good. And you have two buttons here to move back and forward in the books. And here is the power button. And up here you have, it looks like a microphone actually, and a LED light to see when it's powered on probably and charging. And at the bottom we have USB-C and a headphone jack 3.5 millimeter. And as I said, you also have Bluetooth. Looks really nice and feels really nice. I love that. So let's see what's ha happening when starting it for the first time. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's see what the guide says. Hold in knappen. This is not a power button. The power button is up here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, like so. <laughs> sorry, I thought this was the power button actually. I didn't know that. So, as you can see now it's powered on. Now it starts. It's starting the apps, it says. Now we have a guide to follow. Get started. Set up Wi-Fi. Now I need to add my password. Like so. Now it updates the software. So now it has updated the firmware, the software on this Storytel Reader. Now it's optimizing the apps on the Storytel Reader itself. It took a quite a long time to do the software update actually. That's why I didn't show you that in this video. And this optimizing of the app also takes quite long time, I see, but... I pause this video until this is finished too. So now it has updated everything and now I should log in to my Storytel account. So hold on. So now I have logged into my Storytel account. 
as, as you can, can see, see it's Swedish, Swedish language, language directly because, because it feels that I am Swedish so it uh, will show me a quick setup guide and shows me how the ear ink display works and that I can navigate with these two buttons and the storytell button at the bottom is a home button you can navigate back to the first page the first menu on the reader with that button and my bookshelf my library my documents you can also upload your own documents and epub files to this Storytel reader through your subscription and you can set up Bluetooth and a lot of stuff so I'm gonna go through that now So here we have the recent books I have opened or reading, as you can see, nice. So for example, the latest Douglas Preston Lincoln Child book here, I can open that and I can choose to download the book ebook or the audiobook or both if I want so I download the ebook to see how it works as you can see I have both Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi on but now I can click read on this book and it opens the book okay like so now i can go back and forward as you can see and it says how many pages left in the chapter down below it doesn't do that on the mobile app that's nice That's, That's really, really nice. nice. And, and I, I can, can do, do oops, <laughs> uh, sorry. sorry. I, I can, can do, do some, some settings, settings here, here if I want to have different settings, settings and so on, on. a larger or text or anything. Like so, I, I can, can choose different, different fonts here if I want that's nice so now if I want to go back again I can click on the storytell button ah it goes back to the last menu ah. and here we have the lighting options As, As you can, can see now, the light, light is off. off. If, if I turn it on, I can do settings for the light brightness and the warmth of the light. That's nice. So that was this for this video. I will probably do a video, um, another video with this reader when I have done some settings and so on and learned everything because I can go through audiobook and uh, normal reading here if I want for example I can click on uh, audiobook but I need to download it but I haven't done that yet so I can do that if I want and so on but that will be in another video probably I forgot to show you the case too so let's see how it looks with the case on 
easy to put it in the case. Now, when I do this, it should be in sleep mode. And when I open this, it should not be in sleep mode, but uh, I'm not sure if that was what I wanted, like so. As you can see, it protects the reader quite well. Wheels quite good in the hand, but uh, I don't see I don't see me using this case as much because it's quite awkward to read with it like this. But maybe I will do that. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I thought it should go into sleep mode when doing this, but it didn't. Maybe after a while. Okay. That's it for this video. Okay, bye.